Conquering Liverpool side of the 1980s travelled to Brighton and Hove Albion for an FA Cup fourth round tie in January 1984. The Reds, who were soaring in the league, League Cup and European Cup, were chasing an unprecedented quadruple. Brighton had reached their first and only FA Cup final the previous season, but were beaten in a replay by Manchester United. On their way to Wembley, the Seagulls had seen off Liverpool 2-1 at Anfield, and the second division outfit were aiming for a repeat performance at the Goldstone Ground. Commentary from Ron Atkinson and Brian Moore. Let's take a check on the two teams. Brighton, in fact, have sold programmes by post well in advance. That's a good idea. And so for many of you watching at home with your match programmes, here are the changes. For Brighton at number two, Chris Hutchins, formerly at Chelsea, comes in for Kieran O'Regan. Uh, it's his first game for Brighton at right back. And at number four, Tony Grealish returns after suspension to the midfield in place of Gary Howlett. Uh, Grealish's job today to Mark Graham soon is in midfield and the Brighton sub is Alan Young. Uh, Liverpool meanwhile, as for programme as they say, they are unchanged with Ronnie Whelan as their substitute and they've come impressively as ever with only one defeat in their last 12 games. Liverpool all in red, Brighton here with the blue shirts, white shorts, Terry Connor, the number 10, formerly with Leeds United, and Jerry Ryan there alongside him. Chris Catlin, the Brighton manager, saying, I've got to pick my strongest physically and mentally, the strongest side I can. Full start. Presumably a Liverpool player in the centre circle before the ball was actually kicked off. Or maybe the ball wasn't played forward. It just about was then. So remember then, Brighton attacking the goal to our left. And Sammy Lee quickly in. But here's Danny Wilson now. And what a good ball towards young Steve Penny. And stopped by Alan Kennedy. And a throw and a lovely ball. That was from uh, Danny Wilson. Bought from Nottingham Forest. Number 11 is Penny. Ryan turning it back. The ball crossed in here. Soonis battling to get that. Smiley there. Now Grealish tough, competitive little midfield player. And Neil back for the first touch for Bruce Grobelar. The Brighton manager on the left there, Chris Catlin, Sammy Nelson, the former Northern Ireland and Arsenal fullback, who's his right-hand man. Again, a slip by Grealish. And the strength of Johnston, I thought, was going to get it back, but Grealish... Had something to say, and it's Connor. He's onside, played onside by Kennedy. A deflection, and Greenish is in there. And a corner given. And for a moment, Liverpool looked to be wavering. And the Brighton fans getting really behind their team now. Kenny with the corner. Big Eric Young is up, and Steve Foster too. Big two central defenders are there. Foster tried to get the header in, but he was well beaten. I think it was Hansen's header, but here's Penny again. Oh, Foster with the shot. Saved by Grobola. Nice cross in and taken very quickly there by Steve Foster. Foster and Robinson jostling for that one and now Craig Johnston a nickel oh good save a fiercely hit drive there by Steve Nichol he caught it perfectly and I thought for a moment it was going to get past Corrigan but he stretched that six foot five frame and gathered it well now Neil Made in for Rush, a little turn, and a good challenge by Eric Young. Ryan, play on, said the referee, a good advantage. Smiley trying to get Jerry Ryan on his way. Connor's in the middle. Smiley's made a good run through the middle also. He gets it across. Oh, my goodness, I thought for a moment there was going to be a Brighton man there. In the end, it was put behind by Hanson. And Brighton, after an exciting attack, get a corner. The full marks to Jerry Ryan there. He had the courage to take Lawrence and on and produce a magic ball into the box. There's Ryan with the moustache. Craig Johnston at the post as well. 
swift and impressive break there by Brighton. They've got themselves a corner. Eric Young coming in from deep. Foster's up again. And Foster didn't quite get his head to it. Turned back once more by Penny and over the top. Half an hour gone, no score. Wilson. And a long, long ball again for Penny. Played in a good firm ball there to Connor. Can't quite get going though, Connor. And here's Nicol. Stopped well by Grealish. Played in again towards Jerry Ryan and Phil Neal. Lost to put it behind for another Brighton corner. And Souness is down, injured at the moment. And the referee rushed across to him. As though there's a problem there, but... He's a tough fella. And Ronnie Moran quickly out to give him some treatment. There's no question about it. When Brighton do push men forward, they have Liverpool in some sort of trouble virtually every time they attack them. I'd just like to see Smiley push on a little bit more and try and attack Philip Neal more. Well, here's Smiley. He's a talented fellow with a lot of pace. Used to be with Crystal Palace. Yeah, last, in last year's cup final against us, and particularly in the first one, he played on the right-hand side and he caused us a lot of problems. Whether he's moved, been moved out there to compensate for the new lad on the right wing, Penny, um, but I would feel that if he could push on, he's got a bit of a problem, as I say, at the moment. He's half-marking Sammy Lee, um, but I would feel his strength is going at the right fullback. Well, soon as the formidable man from midfield is OK. And Grealish will take the corner for Brighton. And it went past from Terry Connor. And it's a goal kick. There's the sign that Souness is coming off. Now, that's a blow for them, Ron. Yes, I just wonder how they'll reform, whether they'll put Sammy Lee into the central midfield position and bring uh, Wheel and Wide on this side. So, Ronnie Whelan is on. Brighton nil, Liverpool nil. Wilson away. Connor. Rush. Ball played by Rush for Robinson. And just pushed into the side netting by the left boot of Joe Corrigan. Good reaction there by the big man. Six foot five of him, but he got down, at least was very leg conscious, and got that into the side netting. Good piece of unorthodox goalkeeping, Brian. Well, it's Craig Johnston with the throw with the corner now for Liverpool. And Terry Connor getting it away. Danny Wilson now. Free kick brought down by Sammy Lee. Yeah, he's certainly taking over the Sooners mantle at the moment. Lee and uh, Wilson having a good laugh with each other after that challenge. A great hearted little player, Sammy Lee, and he's always ready to have a laugh during the course of a game. Good character and a good influence. There's Ronnie Whelan. And now Michael Robinson. Hatting's after him. Can he hold him? Played back for Phil Neal. In for Lee. And now for Kennedy. Onto that left foot, that's what he wanted to get. Rush now, onto the right foot. Down goes Corrigan. <laughs> Remembering, of course, that when we talk about the Liverpool side, Penny Dalgleish, of course, is stood out and injured. And here's Robinson. And again, Corrigan down well. Robinson, in fact, just pushed it a fraction too far ahead of himself with that last touch, and that gave Corrigan his chance, and he pounced superbly. That little moment there, and Corrigan spotted it well. Well, that's amazing. Rush appeared to have no right to get that ball, but he got it, played it back for Nicol. 
and played behind but his acceleration there was exceptional one yeah he's got tremendous pace but i think in that particular instance i think the fullback must have been sleeping in i mean rush made too many yards on him for well i, I think if he'd been fired out of a rocket he wouldn't have caught him there fullback had got to be sleeping in there coming towards the half-time whistle now and brighton I would think well contented at the moment, Ron. Would you like to have a quick little sum up? Yes, I think Liverpool have been the better side, to be fair to them. But uh, Brighton have competed well. They've played particularly well in midfield, where they've been outnumbered. Um, Grealish and Wilson have played well. And they've shown, when they've got forward, that they can, they can produce a chance or two. Well, here's maybe the last chance of the first half, as Foster plays it in towards Terry Connor. Grealish, once more. Forgetting. Smiley. And Phil Neal was quickly onto him, supported by Whelan. Grealish. Wilson. Getting it wide for Penny again. He looks a useful player, I must say. And in the end, it's Ronnie Whelan who plays it back for Grobelar. Played on for Rush. Is it going to be? No. What a remarkable moment. Corrigan did superbly well to halt Rush in the first place. He got in superbly behind it. It cannoned off his knees. And then, well, it was saved again. That was an astonishing moment. Foster did really well right at the death when it looked as though Rush might just be able to get it in from that acute angle. Into time added on for stoppages. Still nil-nil as we come to half-time with so much to play for. And Steve Foster has kept Liverpool at bay, particularly in that last-ditch save right on half-time when Ian Rush looked as though he might give Liverpool the lead, which maybe their territorial advantage just about deserves, but you have to get the ball in the net, and neither side has yet done that. start the second half now attacking the goal to our left and it's interesting looking at the number of fourth round cup ties played yesterday how many of them were decided in the last few minutes and you get the impression that this game could well be building in, up into something quite special the longer it goes on Nickel Rush Phil Neal Trying to get it through to Robinson. Foster there first. Good clearance. Finds Penny. Deflection, in fact, took it nicely for Ryan, but now Hansen gets it back awkwardly and concedes the corner to Brighton. Well, if this leads to anything, uh, Alan Hansen's going to be kicking himself. Yeah, I must admit, I always have a feeling about needless corners. They always worry me more as a manager than corners that are given away in the heat of defence. Well, let's see. Grealish, Penny coming close to him. Foster and Young up again. Young making his run towards the near post. Grealish with the corner. Goes, hit low. And not a very good one. Robinson now for Liverpool to rush. Nickel. Challenged by Wilson and by Grealish. But Nickel somehow beat them both. Now it's Penny, the 19-year-old, playing a ball in towards Terry Connor. Played on again for Jerry Ryan, and hit at Grubelar. Good move by Brighton that sliced the way through that Liverpool defence. Applause from Jerry Ryan, and for Jerry Ryan. Neil. Connor in first. Smiley, away down that wing. The 
crowd are behind him. And so too was Lawrenson at the expense of a corner. Good breaks down these flanks now, Ron. Yes, I feel that with, with Sammy Lee moving into that central position, Brian, it's opened up all sorts of avenues in wide positions now. Liverpool don't seem to have any real width in their midfield at the moment. And once again, you've seen when somebody runs at Philip Neal, how he can be exploited for pace, particularly without the protection of Sammy Lee. Grealish with a corner for Brighton. Neal away. Gatting, played in again for Penny, Penny playing on for Gatting once more, played in for Connor, and Lawrence and away again, just two up for Brighton, but there, Robinson and Rush, Wilson getting back, and Robinson has shaken off Wilson, here's support from Ronnie Whelan, and now here's Rush, unmarked, and a good save by Corrigan, what a dangerous thing to leave Rush with as much space as that. Well, I think they got carried away in the general enthusiasm of it all, Brighton then, and pushed everybody forward and left two men spare unmarked to Liverpool forwards, Russian Robinson. Well, a good shot there again. As Corrigan and Rush discussed that last moment. Liverpool's corner. Played short for Kennedy. And now for Neil. Driving from long range and a long way wide. Young. Stopped by Neil. Here comes Whelan. Oh, it's for Robinson. Foster couldn't stop him. And another brilliant save by Corrigan. Now for Johnston. Crossed in once more. Foster, the whistle is gone. Joe Corrigan's playing out of his skin. He's, what, 35 last May and still going strong. I must confess, Brian, I don't think I've ever seen him play better. He seemed to fill the whole goal then. Even when Robinson was there, struck it well, it still didn't look as if he was ever going to be beaten. He set himself up and he's very, very strong. It's a hell of a strong punch away as well. Hanson versus Connor. Oh, Connor got it on, but Ryan couldn't get there. Real nip and tuck. Nil-nil with 11 minutes of the second half gone. A throw to Brighton. Getting with it. He's enjoying the sunshine here, Steve Gatting. His brother Mike is probably enjoying more with MCC in New Zealand. A shot. Oh, just over the top from Nickel. Well, the tempo certainly increased, hasn't it, Brian? Both sides going at it now, hammer and tongue. One of the dangers the Brighton team might have is if they try to push forward and throw bodies forward, they're going to leave space for the, for the likes of Robinson and Rush to use their pace and exploit that. And the crowd at the moment enjoying every moment of it. Grealish, on for Ryan, onside, played onside by Neil. Can he make it this time? He can! Jerry Ryan has put Brighton into the lead. 1-0. Liverpool looked to the linesman. They thought it was offside, but... He was onside all right, and Chris Catlin's team are in the lead 1 0. Jerry Ryan, seventh of the season. He scored at Anfield last season in that memorable cup win, and my word, he's done it again today. Out comes Grobelar, the little flick over the keeper into the back of the net. How wrong? Really superb goal. The only thing, I think there was a real question of it being offside, to be fair, Brian. I think, looking at it on the replay, I rather favour it may have been a shade offside. Lawrenson had a bit of a problem there. He didn't know whether to take him, take his man out completely or just go, let Ryan go on in the hope he was going to miss. Now, let's see whether Liverpool can hit back. Greenish away. Can Brighton hold them now? Well, this understanding there between Nicol and Kennedy. And now Connor's through. Can this be two?
two minutes. And Liverpool are rocking. Brian, they well, I can't believe it, the Liverpool players. They paid the penalty there. What Alan Hansen was doing there, heaven only knows. He tried to step up and play uh, Connor offside before the ball had even been played through. I just cannot believe it. He, you know, that for me was rank bad defending. But full credit to Connor. It's always been levelled against him that he's not the best finisher in the world, but nobody could have taken that better. Well, rub your eyes and look at that. Brighton 2, Liverpool 0, 13 minutes of the second half gone. And here's Smiley. You should see the crowd down here now. And you should hear them. Hanson away. Smiley. Lee, the little touch. In goes Penny. But Nicol got it away. Rush is right up there. Robinson's up there. Johnson is joining him. Neil is outside him. And straight at Corrigan. Well, silence from the Liverpool fans at the moment. But they're a pretty resilient mob. Well, a happy, happy day at the moment in Brighton. Grealish playing it in again, and it'll be a goal kick. And the photographer's waiting to get a reaction from Chris Catlin, I would think, at the final whistle. You'll see that in your favour tomorrow. And here's Penny. Not a very good clearance by Grobola and an offside flag against Ryan. The final whistle. And Chris Catlin, the Brighton manager, goes off after the goals by Jerry Ryan and Terry Connor bring about a massive FA Cup upset. Scenes of great jubilation here at the Goldstone Ground in Brighton, usually so sedate, but a famous victory repeating the one at Anfield last year. They can't believe it, the Liverpool players, shell-shocked by those two goals in two minutes in the second half. And they'll be talking about this victory for a long, long time to come here on the South Coast.